Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back once again. So this weekend, I didn't think we were gonna go out hunting. I thought we were gonna just chill and not do much. But the wife had different plans. She actually wanted to get out and look to see what we could find, and so we did. Yesterday morning, we went a little garage selling. Couldn't do too much because I had to work, but hit up a few places. Only found games at one spot. We picked those two games up. That's all they had was two. And um, I went to work, got off around two, and we went to a few pawn shops after coming home and chilling for a little bit. Uh, we went to three. Uh, two didn't have much because we always hit them up and we pretty much just sucked them dry right now. So they didn't have shit. And the last one, we went a little too late because by the time we got there, they were already getting ready to close. So. We didn't have much time to look around. But from the garage sale, she picked up uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I don't need it. I already have me a copy, so she picked it up. But for 50 cents, I picked up Scooby-Doo First Fright. Still a $10 game at GameStop, so 50 cents, damn good deal. Um, oh, on Friday, my wife picked up a little PS2 game lot, uh, from OfferUp. Uh, there's this one game in there she didn't want. I didn't really want it either, but there's nothing we can do with it. And I don't like just throwing a game away, so I'm like, fuck it, I don't have it in my collection, so let me just add it to it. So, for me, for free, I got High Rollers Casino. You know, I may play it, check it out. I like to play card games like poker and shit like that. So we'll see what's up. Um, Like I said, nothing from the pawn shops. We end up going to movies galore. And from there, I picked up a few things. Picked up Gladiator, Sword of Vengeance. Um, Airborne Troop. Countdown to D-Day. Yeah, lighting sucks, but yeah. It's there. There, there. There it is. That's the money shot. So, also picked up King Arthur. Galarian Ash. And the King of Fighter Maximum Impact. Uh, also picked up Day of Reckoning for the GameCube and Army Man Sarge's War. So, got those from Moves Galore. After that, we went to Game Bros. Didn't get too much because I'm. Um, I was being cheap. I didn't want to spend too much. So I did get three games. Picked up Pinball Hall of Fame. Army Man Green Rogue. And Warriors of Might and Magic. So I got those three games. Not too bad. Um... Today we went to the flea market. I showed y'all the picture of a $30 pickup we had. Uh, story is, last week we went, the guy, he kind of knows we look for video games, so when he sees me, he pulls me to the side and shows me what he got. He showed me this last week, and it had the two Game Boys, Tetris, and one of the Tiger handhelds. We said, okay, we'll come back around. We want to shop around before we actually just spent money on that. So we wound up picking up the NES lot last week and a few more games. And after that, I was pretty much spent. So I'm like, fuck it, let's just go. So today we go back. He still had the stuff. But this time, it had the One More Tiger game in it. It had the um, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger game in it this time. And my wife picked up two, an Xbox 360 game and an Xbox game. And he was like, okay, you know what? All that in those two games, 30 bucks. I'm like, okay, fuck it, we'll do that. 
So that's what that was. We picked all that up for 30 bucks. Um, picked up Defender 2 for 4 bucks. Uh, for 10 bucks, picked up Dream Master. Yeah, it goes pretty much for that price, so it was, eh. I think I seen it at game stores for like 15, 12, whatever. So 10 bucks wasn't too bad. This one I was happy to pick up for 20 because it normally goes for like 35 to like 40 bucks depending on the game store you go to. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Finally got this game. I've been trying to get it for some time and never wanted to pay the 30 bucks for it. So 20 bucks, good deal. And my wife got a couple things from there too. She picked up Ms. Pac-Man for the NES and some other stuff. I can't remember what she picked up. So that was pretty much it for the flea market. Uh, see on a Facebook group, these people were selling some games. It was mainly Xbox 360 games. She had crazy prices on them, but there was one I asked about. She was like, four bucks. But that's when she thought I was buying a different game with it. So I asked her, you know, that game, I don't need it because she was trying to charge 10 bucks for it. And that game goes for like five bucks at GameStop. So I'm like, I'm not getting it from you. But the one game she did quote me at $4 goes for like 10 bucks at GameStop. So I picked it up for four bucks. Mini Ninjas. That was a good deal. Um, Another lady I seen had some Wii games. Five bucks a piece. Picked up. Super Paper Mario, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and Mario Party 8. Five bucks a pop. That was a good deal. And for my last pickup, it was another Facebook group. This guy is selling some of his NES, SNES games that are boxed. This one's not a licensed one. This is like a like a repro, but I wanted it because it's uh, 150 games in one in box. So, yeah, that's going to be sweet to play. Got that little Samson in it, Panic Restaurant, Contra 1 through 3, Castlevania 1 and 2, which I already have, uh, Mega Man 1 through 7. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 through 4 and Ninja Gaiden or Gaidan 1 through 3. So, and it has a whole bunch of other games in it too. So, I picked that up for 25 bucks. That was a good deal. Uh, I know it normally goes for like 28, 30 bucks. So, 25 was a good deal. And with a box, I was like, yeah, I take it. So, that's pretty much my pickups for this weekend. Uh, we'll see what happens next weekend. I can't say I'm going to chill because I don't know yet now. When I do that, we wind up going out. So to then, we'll see what's up. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> uh, Y'all have a good one and keep on gaming and keep on hunting.